hear me? When it feels like all hell is broken, breaking loose, there is still a throne. When I talk about the throne, I'm talking about power. I'm talking about authority. I'm talking about sovereignty. I'm talking about greatness. And John said in that revelation, I didn't see two people on the throne. There was no fight. I didn't see Congress. I didn't see, I didn't see anything. I saw only one person. And that person is Jesus. He is supreme. He rules with power. And that throne, ladies and gentlemen, can never be overthrown. Kingdoms sometimes are overthrown. Governments are sometimes overthrown. But the beautiful thing about this one who sat, sits on the throne is that he was not voted for. And so nobody can vote him out. Nobody props him. Nobody helps him. He doesn't need anybody's help to become Jesus before the beginning began he is Jesus from eternity past till now he is Jesus and to eternity future he'll forever be Jesus he is the one who created and yet he was never created he is the one who came from nowhere and yet he takes us somewhere he is the Jesus that I present to you he is not a politician he is not he is not a congressman he is not a president he is not a prime minister he is not a pastor he is God in his own class and he sits upon the throne alone sometimes we have some monarchies in this world that are absolutely monarchies you go to saudi arabia you go to bahrain you go to bhutan they have kings and, and potentates who are so powerful they can even come and kill you in your own embassy they can do everything but hear me there is a god who has absolute and total power and sovereignty and he can do whatever he likes he can invade one nation all by himself he can send one angel to uh, to enter into the court of the assyrians and by morning 185 soldiers a thousand can be dead because there is a throne and on the throne there is God and that throne is a throne of power ladies and gentlemen you didn't appoint him and so you cannot unappoint him he is almighty he's a self-existent Jesus is somebody hearing me ladies and gentlemen he is the Jesus that I'm talking about today I don't know about your Jesus but the Jesus that I found in the Bible he's extraordinary he is powerful he is a sea walker he is the leper cleansing man from Galilee he speaks to trees and trees die to teach the people the language of faith I'm talking about the Jesus who will meet a funeral a procession and he will touch it and say fear not cry not because I am the resurrection and the life I am talking about the Jesus that will stand at the tomb of his own friend Lazarus who has been dead for four days and he's marching towards your tomb of hopelessness and he's going to speak and say come forth I am talking about the Jesus that will look at a storm that is raging and say peace be still and I'm talking about that Jesus that he will meet lepers and tell them go and show yourself and as they are going they see that they are cleansed I'm talking about that miracle working Jesus I'm talking about that Jesus who was uh, and he died but he is alive forevermore and he holds in his hands the keys of hell and Hades. I am talking about the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning the end, the concrete line of the tribe of Judah. He roars and all creation has to be quiet. He is the prophet. He is the king. He is the messiah. He is our evangelist. He is our pastor. He is our teacher. He is our lover. He is our Jesus. He is the forgiver of our sins. He is the fountain that is open in the house of David for sin and unrighteousness righteousness i am talking about the wheel within the wheel ezekiel saw him as a wheel within a wheel the evangelist they saw him one saw him as a lion the other saw him as an eagle another saw him as a man another saw him as as, as a bedding bearer but he is still jesus i don't know who that jesus is to you maybe you are wallowing in sin he's your sin cleanser he's the forgiver of you maybe you are lonely he's a friend that sits closer than a brother maybe you are hungry he's the bread of life maybe you are thirsty he's the water of life maybe you are groping in darkness he says i am the light of the world and anyone that follows me will not stumble if you not worship a jesus like this i feel sorry for you you and i may not be perfect but our jesus is perfect i love that jesus i love that man of galilee for he has done so very much for me he has given me all my sins and put the holy ghost within i love i love i love i love i love i love that man of galilee wow Talking about Jesus, talking about Jesus, his throne is dependent on nothing. The only thing, the two pillars that the, G, the throne of Jesus stands on is justice and righteousness. My God.